Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. Today I want to tell you a small story how to prepare a G-code for laser engraving and laser cutting. We recommend you to use a software called Inkscape and there are two different plugins that you may use in Inkscape. Endurance Laser G-code and GT Photonics laser tool. So I'm going to show you how to deal with both plugins. Okay, let's write a text that we want to to convert into G-code. Let's say right, hello world. When we wrote this text, then we need to go to object and group it. Then we go to counter and uh, we need to encounter the object. Right now, it's all ready and set up to create a G-code. We go to Endurance Laser G-code, we type, uh, we select the, the menu, go to a menu. We need to set up laser on and laser off. We use a command M03 and M05 to turn it off. Uh, laser power, 255, the maximum. Speed is 1000. And it's very important to set up a directory for uh, where you're going to save your G-code. I think we're all set and let's click apply. It'll take a while to prepare. Sorry about that. It takes some computer processing and we didn't really optimize our solution. Uh, I wrote an article about how to prepare a G-code and it's on our website Endurance Lasers. Um, Right now I didn't upload it, but you'll find it here, and please check it out, our blog. There are a lot of interesting information here, and don't forget to visit our uh, channel. So I'm, I wrote a story about uh, detailed instructions and guidance how to use G-code and what parameters are there. So let's see if... Oh, yeah, it's still processing. The Russian version, it takes a little bit more time. And let's see what we get here. Yeah, I forgot to say, if you need a software, you can go to on our website and go to Download Center and download everything you need, including plugins and Inkscape. Okay, so we got it. You see, red lines is a G-code. It's done. It's done pretty good. And we can see it on our D disk drive. It's over here. So let me show you how does it work with GT Photonics. We do the same. We do it group. We do encounter an object. And then let's run a GT Photonics. Pretty much the same parameters. And let's click apply. It's faster here. But as you can see, it's not perfect. We see some collisions, some dots here. I don't know why does it happen. That's why actually we made our own um, plugin that works better than um, GT Photonics. It's also good, but sometimes it makes mistakes. And you see it here, it's even bigger. Okay, so we have it. So let me show you another example how you can con get a G-code out of raster image. So I got a request from our customer has a univers uh, anniversary with his wife, 50 years, That's a great period of time. <laughs> I must say greetings to you Paul and Penny, I'm doing it for you as a wedding gift. <laughs> okay, we have an object, it is a raster image. We need to convert it into vector, so we do vectorize raster. We press a button, we, set, we uh, define curves, Let's see how it looks. Looks pretty good. Okay, we convert it. Okay, so this is our. We don't need any more our raster image. We have a. We have a G code here, and yeah, I think we're ready to do a G code out of this. Pretty much the same parameters. Apply. Voila. Oh, not really. Take some time buy a better, faster computer. Oh, maybe because I still do uh, screen capturing. It takes more time. Okay, so we have it here. Let's check it out. This is a new G-code. 80, 
uh, 9 kilobytes, right? Let me just to make sure that, um, yeah, by the way, you can select it and see how it looks like. Oh, yeah, it's, it takes time. Yeah, you see, it's not perfect because the vector and raster was not perfect, but still it's good. And different parameters would bring you to expected results. Let me show you how does it work on GT Photonics. So pretty much the same parameters. We click Apply. It takes more time, by the way. And all videos and uh, tutorials are on our website. Don't forget to visit it, endurancelasers.com. Visit our download center. Sometimes we have nice offers, like pop-ups. Let me show you. Pop-up we had a while ago. Don't miss to get our discounts and special deals. Okay. Yeah, it's done. You can see the result. I must say that it's not good, but uh, better than nothing, because uh, probably we had some issues with the initial um, image. You can see that it's hardly to define what's written. Yeah, by the way, that's why we made our own plugin that works much better. So. I hope that you like this video, please share it with your friends, subscribe on our channel and have a wonderful engravings, bye bye.